So dear young friends, that day we learned about tense. Now we learn about voice. Present, past and future. Present having simple present form, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. Past having simple past, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. Simple future, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. Oh, well. Now, unless you have studied tense, you cannot study. Voice. Active voice and passive voice. Both important from your examination point of view and the master board examination point of view as well as competitive examinations which you are going to appear for. Now, English is compulsory then. So, Sita sings a song is a simple present tense structure becomes a song is sung by Sita. Now, Sita is the subject, song is the object, song becomes subject, Sita becomes object in passive voice. A song, a song is sung by Sita. In simple present. If I correlate it with its simple past tense, sings becomes sang. Sita sang a song. A melodious song was sung by Sita. In present tense, the passive voice was is sung. Here it is was sung. If you notice, all the passive structures carry the third form, sung. There are two different types of words, regular and irregular. The regular words do not bark, they carry ed form. Carry, carry, carry. Play, play, play. Kick, kick, kick. They take ed form. They are very simple, regular words. Whereas there are some irregular ones who bump the classes or college. For example, catch, caught, caught. Right, wrote, written, sing, sang, sung. So this, is, this has got I mutation, sing, sang, sung. So now we are talking about this, you see. And whereas the passive structure will always take the third form. It is always the third form of V3 which goes. Right? So, next one. Sita is singing, the bell should ring, ing means continuous. continuous, the bell should ring, continuous means ing, ing means continuous, is singing because is being sung, Sita is singing a song, a song is being sung by Sita, deliberately I have changed the font style of this S, it is always sung in passive, next, Sita was singing a song, becomes a melodious song was being sung. See, a melodious song is being sung, a melodious song is was being sung. ING is there, so we have used was being. ING is there, we have used is being. Next we talk about present perfect, the bell should ring, present perfect. Has and or has or have. I, you, they, can it? Have. He, she, it. Has. Ram. Yes. Mohan and I. Have. Sohan, Gita and Gita. Have. Okay? Now, Sita has sung a song. A song has been sung by Sita. Sita has sung a song. Now, in this case, if I say Sita has sung songs, now it's plural, it means they. So, songs have been, not has been. Songs have been sung by Sita. Got it? People is plural. For example, I eat apples. The apples are eaten by me. I have eaten apples. Apples have been eaten by me. I have eaten an apple. An apple? I have eaten an apple. It is present perfect. The passive will be present perfect. Has been eaten. Has been eaten because apple is one it, whereas I takes have. Please. Next, we talk about Sita has been singing a song. This is present perfect continuous. A melodious song has been being sung by Sita. It is very interesting. It means it is circumlocutory using so many verbs being implied. Has been being sung, it is better to avoid such type of here. Use active tense. Now we we'll talk about Sita had been singing a song, again a melodious song had been being sung by 
Sita, very interesting, don't use it. We have completed act, uh, present tense and the past tense together. Got my point? Just mind the tense and then if it is had, you will have to use had. If it is has, you will have to use has or have. If it is is singing or is plus ing, you will have to use being plus the third form. Always remember. Now the last one. Sita will sing a song melodiously. A melodious song will be sung. Will sing becomes? Will be sung. Sita will be singing a song again periphrasing how? A song will be being sung by Sita. Too many words employed to convert into passive, better to avoid it. It exists in this world, not in usage. Only in grammatical structures, nobody is going to ask you such questions. Though it exists, it will not check your IQ whether you know this or not. Because in colloquial English it is not used. So much of subtle locution is to be done before using it. Now the last but one. Sita will have sung a song melodiously. It is future perfect tense. So it is very easy to form. A song will have been sung by Sita. Now the last but not the least. Sita will have been singing a song melodiously. A melodious song will have been being sung by Sita. Again very interesting. Circumlocution. Too many words employed in passive. Not in usage, let us avoid it. Now to check your There are certain sentences which do not go as for these rules, but passive structure is possible, very much possible. Now let us do an exercise. I eat oranges. Passive. Oranges are eaten because my sentence is present tense. I, I will. Go to watch Chichoi this weekend. <laughs> in this case, the sentence is, I mean the word go is interrupted. You cannot make it. But if I ask you, I will watch Chichoi this weekend. Chichoi? Get out. Please move 
that side. He was requested to move that side. Drink six to eight glasses of water daily. That's it. You are requested or you are advised to drink. Don't cut flowers. You are warned against cutting flowers. You are warned not to cut flowers. Go left. You are instructed to go left or right, whichever direction. Okay. So now that you ought to obey traffic rules. So what could be the answer? You are you are expected or instructed. Whatever. Instructed to obey traffic rules. I hope I'm clear. Will he have this not the question? Will he have finished his work? Let me see if you can answer this. Yeah? Will the work be finished by Will the work be finished? Excellent answer. Excellent. Will the work be finished by him? Similarly, you see, now I have given a passive sentence. Was the letter not written to you? What will be the active form? Let me see who can give the answer. Is it what in summary? I think no. Beautiful. Who's the answer? Who is very close. Yeah, so what will, the, uh, what will be the passive of you see? Nothing, because there is no object. On the contrary, if I take a transitive verb, I kick. What is the passive? Passive not possible because I am falling short of an object. I kick you. You are kicked by me. I kick a wall. A wall is kicked by me. I made a mistake. Don't say I was made by a mistake. <laughs> right? So, next is uh, I made a plan. I will make a plan. Don't say I was made by a plan. Or I will be made by a plan. Or dangerous. Now that I go to market. I go to market. I go to market. So this answer, I'm not active. Anyway, I go to market. Market is not by me. It cannot be because go is intransitive here. Got my point, it's one-sided. For example, I sleep on my bed. My bed is not possible. Right? It is one-sided action. There should be an object. At the same time, the action should be transferred. In sleeping, or my uncle died yesterday. Yesterday was my died uncle. <laughs> Got it? So it is not possible. You will be surprised if he is chosen. Anyway, so was a letter not written to you? Didn't he write a letter to you? So simple. Didn't he sing a melodious song? Was a melodious song not sung by him. Wasn't he singing a melodious song? Was a melodious song not being sung by him? Has he not sung a melodious song? Has a melodious song <coughs> not being sung by him. Now my question, the last one, is he will be surprised if he is chosen. If he is chosen, they will be surprised. So what he did is, he simply brought it to this side and that piece to that side. The structure remained the same. They will surprise him. Yeah, now it is correct. Now it is correct. 
they will surprise him or we will surprise him or you will surprise him you may choose anyone you may choose anyone but this is the only answer you will or they will or we will surprise him if now next if 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 we choose him you cannot change the world Bob is not selected. It's choose. If we choose him, got my point? So this is how you write. I'm going to upload it soon, so you can watch it time and time again. But one thing is sure: the tense and voice are two interconnected, interrelated things. Are important from your Maharashtra board examination point of view. Number one, from all competitive examinations point of view, after your board or after your graduation or for any examination, English is not going to leave you. I tell you, the importance of this is the ground. Definitely, that speaking is there, writing skill is there, but this four options will be there. One sentence will be given to you in the question, and four options will be there, which is the right. Suppose they give you Sita has sung a song. And they give you the correct answer at the question C, along with three wrong answers. You have to choose. You cannot go with a trial and error unless you have the key. You cannot open the lock. This is one tense again. You have to choose out of the things which one is going to convert a tense, this tense form to another tense form. At the same time, for your colloquial, day-to-day -day language and conversation, you need proper tense and proper. Uh, what do we call uh, construction or syntax? Your syntax should be error-free, and for that you need practice. But before that, you need a base. The base is first is tense, second is voice, and then our next class will be on simple compound and complex. It is again a bit difficult, but then these are certain basic things I am going to upload. You can frequently on and off visit the place. I mean, AJC E Notice Board, and you can see it. Today in this class. We will study about voice. Whenever you study voice, you must ensure you have studied tense forms perfectly. Because changing voice requires your dependence on tense. Got my point? Just a flashback to whatever we read in the tense forms, the present, the past and future. Present having, simple present. Present continuous, present perfect, present perfect, present perfect continuous. Then it is very easy. A rigmarole, simple past, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. Then future continuous, future perfect, then future perfect continuous. Now, one sentence I would like to say in a tense, whenever it is an active voice. The subject takes a verb and object. We must ensure that the verb is transitive, that action is transferred. If there is no action transferred, for example, I sleep. My uncle died. There is no transfer of action. So these sentences cannot be changed to passive voice. So this sentence, my present was hijacked by my past. But it is hope that my future will be lighted. My present was hijacked by my past, but it is hope that my future will be lighted. This is the active form. My past hijacked my present, but I hope I will light my future. I like the future. Now, in this presentation, I will teach you active and passive voice are applicable in different situations. A very common mistake we make is I made a sketch, I was made by a sketch. This is the easiest way of changing an active voice to an act passive voice. So, a polite discourse always needs changing habits. Come to the next. Once again, this is just a gentle reminder to you these are, these are. The regular verbs which end with ed, passive tense, always stay. The last form that is b3, and you see, 
different will become B, B not being defended, hijacked. Hijacked, B being being hijacked, B being being played, but these are these are the irregular verbs. Irregular verbs do not bug classes. Regular verbs, sorry. Regular verbs do not bug classes. Irregular verbs always bug classes. Regular verbs always take ED. Irregular verbs won't take ED form in the past. Catch becomes caught, caught, right, wrote, written, cut, 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 cut. Sing, sang, sung. This is I imitation. Mistake, mistook, mistaken. This is studied in test forms where I have the. Regular verbs always take ED form. Right? So, it is the third form used in the passive voice. Always remember, write, wrote, written. Now, let us see some common mistakes which we commit. Don't take it seriously. I have done this work. This work was done. We write. I told you, whichever tense form is here, this will also take the same tense. I have done my work. So the answer will be this work has been. Asha, here I have written have. And why should I write this work has been done? Because work is it. Whereas I, be, you, they carry have. You know that. He, she always carry has and does. Whereas I, we, you, they always carry have or do. Have, not has. Right, so I have done this work, this work has been done by me. You cannot write this work was done. I go to a market, market is gone by me. Most of you write. It's wrong because this verbs are as per usage in passive form two ways. Transitive and intransitive. Transitive, remember by this code tra, wherein there is transfer of action. We can very well convert such active sentences to passive. For example, I kick a football. I kick a football or I write a story or I read a book. An object is very much there and the action is being transferred. I kick the football, right? I write a story, I read a book. So in such cases, passive voice is possible. I kick a football, this football was kicked by me or I kick a football, a football is kicked by me. I am kicking a football, this football is being kicked by me. I have kicked a football, means a football has been kicked by me, whatever you say, it is possible. Or that I read a story, a story is read by me. I am reading a story, a story is being read by me. I have read a story, a story has been read by me. Got my point? Similarly, one more example I gave, what was that? The second one, anyway, let it be. So I go to market, in this case the action is not transferred to somebody else. This go is intransitive. So this object will not go to me. They made the plan. <coughs> they were made by the plan, many of you write. Rather, what will be the answer? They made a plan. They said the past a plan was made by them. Now, what about this? You slept. Passive. What is the passive of? You slept. This sleeping is an action done by you, action is not transferred. Further, there is no object after that. For example, I kick. What is the passive of this? Nothing. Because I need an object. Kispa transfer karo hai. Right? A subject transfers an action on an object. I kick a football. Subject is I. Football is the object. I kick it. So transitive. So I sleep. Or I kick. What? You. Football, wall, something must be there. Only then I can transfer it to or transform it to passive voice. Got my point? So in this case you slept. Okay, you want an object? In this case I am giving you an object. You slept on your bed. So what will be the passive? Passive. Your bed was slept on. <laughs> so there are certain verbs which are intransitive. Action cannot be transferred. My uncle died yesterday. Yesterday was died by my uncle. <laughs> my was yesterday dead. <laughs> my uncle was being guided. So whatever you may make, 
avoiding a zero. It is not possible in some cases to form classic structures. Now, let us conjugate that. This work has been done by me. We have already done this in the previous slide. We have, now, these are the answers. When this video is being uploaded, or when I upload this, you can very well see it. Come to the next one. The same thing. Huh? Now, the transitive works have the potential to be converted to passive texts. For example, he sings a song. So what will be the answer? A song is sung by him. In negation, they do not do their work. Their work is not done. Done. By them, you may write, you may not write. By them is not at all important. In passive. See, always remember, he sings a song, he is the subject, song is the object, rather. A song is the object, and sings is the verb. So he does an action upon it. What is that action? Sings. In passive, this object will become subject, the subject will become object. A song is sung by him. <coughs> Similarly, in negation, they do not do their work. They is the subject, their work is the object, their work will come here, they will go there, but then there is don't do. So their work is not done by them is not important in passive tense. Object becomes so important that you need not mention about it. For example, uh, my maid servant, my maid servant cleans the floor. Right? What is the passive? The floor is cleaned. By the maid servant is not important because the floor is clean. That is more important. Got my point? My maid servant cleaned the floor. The floor was cleaned by my Made is not important. Right? Now next. Now if I talk about questions. Did they do their work? Was their work done? Aren't they doing their work? Is their work not been done by them? Now, for imperative sentences like if I tell somebody, bring a glass of water or open the window, then the passive will be starting with <coughs> let. Let a glass of water be brought or let the window be opened. Got my point? Now, if it is an advice, if you go to the doctor and if he tells you, drink 6 to 8 glasses of water daily. So what will be the passive of that? 6 to 8 glasses of water should be drunk. Or, more politely, he would tell you, you are advised to drink 6 to 8 glasses of water daily. Right? If I say somebody, get out! It means, you get out. It means, you are ordered to Get out. In this case, you cannot say you are requested to. <laughs> Jai Mata Rai. Get out. You cannot say. Right? Similarly, don't pack it. Most in the gardens and parks or flowers, it is written. Don't pack it. Let it not be plucked. Or you are warned not to pluck it. You are warned against plucking it. Okay? So now let us start learning active passive voice. The next. Again, there are 12 tenses, already we have known. Next, just a flashback. Now we will start with the simple present, but before that, let me show you that table of tense. Next, ah, yeah, this is no, the, uh, simple present. Do you remember? Yes. That day we studied John Wright's stories. I have taken this first example everywhere for the tense, for, for the voice, right? John Wright's stories. You remember the tense form it was just a flashback and, and habitual action or say his profession, here he comes, familiarity breeds content, right? Now, I will take this example, simple present, John writes stories. So, stories is the object and John is the subject. So, this will have to come here, stories written by John. Focus on this. John writes stories, then focus on this, stories are written by John. Now, the present continues, the bell will ring, I am. John is writing stories, right? Stories are being written. One thing is to be noted, the, it is always the third form which is there, you see, written, 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 everywhere in the passive voice it will take the third form, B3. Right? And the verb in active voice. Is writing becomes 
are being. Why? Because story is plural. Though one person is writing, stories is plural. So stories are being written by John. I have not written by John. You may write, you may not write. Right? Then the third form is present perfect. The bell should ring has have. Present perfect, not past perfect. So John has written stories. Right? John is singular. Stories is plural. John is he, which will take has, whereas stories is plural. They have. Got my point? So stories have been written by John. Stories take a plural form of auxiliary. So have is used in passive structure. If I say he sings songs, songs are sung by him. If I say he has sung a song, sorry, he has sung songs, songs have been, songs have been sung by him. I have written stories, stories have been, see that mistake word he is using. I mean the same tense will be there, if it is present perfect, present perfect. You cannot change the tense form, but then it will be a passive structure. This is the active structure, this is the passive structure. What is that? Is writing becomes, is, is writing becomes are being written or is being written. Writes become are written or is written. Has written becomes have been written or has been written if it is a singular form. Then, John has been writing stories. Most of the time we do not use the passive structure of this. It is very uncommon. It is we call periphrastic or circumlocutory. Instead, we prefer the active voice of this. What is that? John has been writing stories. Stories have been being written by John. It is uncommon usage. So it is better you avoid. So only the three forms are important in present. Similarly, now we talk about past. Just a gentle reminder, a flashback. Just a flashback. John wrote stories last week. Time is very important whenever we use simple past. So, simple past is the finished action. Then she met me while I was going to the library or they played well yesterday. Right? Or those written in cursive are simple past. Right? Did you go to this party last night? So, these are all past. Now we will talk about voice. Next. Simple past. John wrote stories. Stories is the object. John is the subject. Will become subject. Will become object. Stories were written but last week. I have written by John. I have not written deliberately. Just to explain you that if I don't write by John, it's okay. Next is John was writing stories. Again, it is ing form. Being how much here? Stories were being written last last week. Stories were being written by John last week. You could write. Next, John had written past perfect. Always the past perfect. Stories had been written by John. Right? Now this is past perfect continuous. John had been writing stories. Stories had been being written by John. John. It is periphrastic. Lot of circumlocution. Better to avoid. Next we move to a flashback to future. Will. That we studied. John will write stories. Right? Next. Next. John will write stories. Stories will be written by John or stories will be written. You may also write this future, simple future as John is going to write stories. I am going to meet your parents today evening. Again. So, John is going to write stories. Stories are going to be written by future continuous. Means continuous, the bell should ring, ing will be. John will be writing stories. Stories will be being written again, periphrastic. Lot of circumlocution, so many verb structures in pride, better to avoid. So, in future, always remember, in simple, sorry, in present and past, always remember it is the perfect continuous tense to be avoided. In future, there are two. One is future continuous, which is to be avoided. And then future perfect continuous, we will come to that. But before that, future perfect. John will have written stories. Stories will have been, be, sorry, stories will have been written by John. Right? Then future perfect continuous. Stories will have been written. John. 
sorry, John will have been writing stories because stories will have been being written by too much of circumlocution periphery. Next. So I must be clear. So these are the things you must, yeah, when I upload it, you can very well know it. Now, I eat has no subject. So passive structure is not possible. Now I would like to ask all of you what will, don't, don't do it. He will be surprised if he is chosen. What will be the, which tense is, uh, which voice is this? Will be surprised he is chosen. Active or passive? Active or passive? Active. Active. passive. Will be surprised. So what will be the active of this? I want to know from you. He will be surprised if he is chosen. If he chooses himself, <laughs> I marry myself. <laughs> I say I love you to myself. Standing in front of the mirror, okay? So, any guesses? Only guess. Huh? He will be surprised. <laughs> he will be surprised. Huh? If he is chosen. If he chooses, if, if he chooses himself. If we choose him, we will surprise him. Come to the next. This is the answer. If we choose him, we will surprise him. Or we will surprise him if we choose him. Next. You see, instructions were displayed clearly. Change the voice. They displayed the instructions clearly. You are requested to go. Please go. You are requested to go is passive. Please go is active. Then uncle gave me a chocolate. This is very important. Uncle is one noun. Me is a pronoun. Chocolate is a noun. Now, which one should I carry? Me or chocolate? Chocolate. You may carry either one. If you carry this, I was given a chocolate. If you carry this, a chocolate was given to me by my uncle, by by my uncle. You may write, you may not write. Come to the next. Okay. Does John write stories? This is a question. Are the stories written by John? Is John writing stories? ING. So being. Are the stories being written by John? Next. Has John written stories? This is an active. So what would be the answer? Have the stories. Because it is have. Present perfect. Have the stories been written by John. John? Then future. Will John write stories? Will the stories be written by John? John doesn't write stories. Stories are not written by John. John is not writing stories. Stories are not being written. Not writing, not being written. John has not written. Have not been written. Because stories are plural. Next, John won't write stories. Stories won't be written by Ram. So you are thanked. You have to thank, you will be thanked for watching me. Which voice is this? Active or passive? It is passive. So what will be the active? I? Thank you. You are thanked by me. Should be I thank you. You have been thanked means I have thanked you. You will be thanked means I will thank you for watching me. Okay. 